Einstein's theory of relativity treats time as a dimension, just like the three-dimensional space of our everyday life. This video is going to put forward an idea on how this so-called fourth dimension of time is formed. But first I want to explain what we mean by time. We can think of time as a continuous flow of change. Without time, the universe would be static and unchanging. Just as we have three dimensions of space, forming three degrees of freedom for movement, we are also moving through time. The difference being, we can stop our motion through space, but we cannot stop our motion through time. These videos explain how the spontaneous absorption and emission of light forms the continuous motion that we measure as the passage of time. This is a geometrical process. Light radiates out in all directions, forming spherical geometry that naturally forms three-dimensional space. The spherical surface forms a dynamic two-dimensional manifold for the movement of positive and negative charge. This two-dimensional manifold also forms the so-called fourth dimension of time that we have in special relativity. Whenever there is change in our everyday life, there is the movement of charge. When objects touch, it is charge that makes contact. And when the bonds between the atoms form and break, there is an exchange of photon energy with the movement of charge. We have an uncertain future continuously unfolding with each photon-electron coupling or dipole moment. 